Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday, January 18th. I'm stuck in the house in a really bad snowstorm. So what a perfect day to make some Weight Watchers garden vegetable soup. It's an OG recipe that's been around for a long time. I think I made it back in the early 2000s. I think that's when it came out and it's really, really good. We're going to make it in the crock pot today in my video, but you can also make it on the stove. It's zero points for green, blue, and purple. And I am not exactly following the recipe to a T. You can take this recipe and tweak it, use what you like. If you like one vegetable a little bit more, use more of that vegetable or less of this, your spices, that type of thing. Make it your own. So I have a little bit, I'm going to post this for you as a guide, but just take this soup if you make it and make it your own, spice it up, you know, as you like. So garden vegetable soup is what we're doing today. I'm kind of um, stuck in the house today. Um, I'm not even sure if my Weight Watchers um, workshop was even open today. I usually weigh in at 8.30 every Saturday and I would never even make it out of my subdivision today. It's that bad. We're having like five to eight inches, came overnight. Um, so I told you guys we were supposed to go out of town today, um, but due to my daughter not feeling well and then the snow, we are staying home and staying safe. Um, so. I didn't get to weigh in. I did get on the scale today and I am definitely down. I wish I could have weighed in today because it would have been exciting to see it down. I'm so close to getting my five pound um, charm. So hopefully next week when I weigh in, I'll make that five pound mark um, from, and this is the five pounds from going back to Weight Watchers back um, in no, uh, November, just about a week before the new program started. So. Hopefully next week I'll have some exciting news to share with you. But today, let's make some yummy vegetable soup. I'm gonna go over these ingredients with you. And then off camera, I'm gonna chop everything and, um, and so you don't have to watch that. Let me go over these ingredients with you. Okay, um, in here I've got some spinach and some fresh green beans. I love fresh green beans. I just cut off the ends and cut them into small bite-sized pieces. So spinach and fresh green beans. The lazy in me is taking out the frozen onions. We'll be using that. Um, you're gonna need some garlic, a little bit of tomato paste to richen the tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes and basil, garlic, and oregano, some carrots, um, using a little bit of zucchini, cabbage. I love cabbage in my vegetable soup. Did I say vegetable broth? But you can use chicken, beef, whatever you like, as long as it's fat free. For spices, this is what I'm gonna use. Salt and pepper, a bay leaf, I'm gonna spray my crock pot with a spray here. Basil, some crushed red pepper, just to give it a little bit of kick and a little bit of time. So just kind of like a medley of Italian seasonings. So I'm gonna get chopping and then I'll show you how we're gonna put everything in the crock pot and just leave it on all day. This is so easy. So this is right up my alley. See you, see you shortly. All right, vegetables are chopped. We got our crock pot on. We're gonna be cooking this for 68 hours on low and we're just gonna spray our crock pot. I'm using one of these bags. It just makes it easy for cleanup. And I got these at Aldi, they're a little less expensive. So I'm gonna spray that. And I've got all my veggies here. Onions, um, cabbage, zucchini, nice carrots. I don't know why I always say nice this, nice that. It's a habit. Um, green beans, spinach, all of that. So I'm just gonna put this right in here. And this looks so colorful. We'll show you a close up shortly. Put all the vegetables in there. All right. I kind of, I'm kind of winging this recipe too because um, I like a little this, a little bit of that. Okay, you're supposed to use one box of stock. I have an extra box on hand, which I may be using because I, I added some extra vegetables and things like that. So, like I said, yep, we're definitely going to use two boxes because I kind of doubled up on the vegetables. If I'm going to make soup, I'm going to make soup. I like to make a lot of soup because it goes fast in this house. You can freeze it and it's just nice to have on hand. So I'm gonna use two boxes. So you guys, I'm not following this to a T on the recipe use. The recipe link below is like a guide for you. All right, one can of diced tomatoes in, I'm using Hunts, that's my favorite, basil, garlic, and oregano spices. We're gonna throw that in. Eh, well, let's put a couple tablespoons of Hunts tomato paste. This just richens the sauce. I like my broth to be kind of rich and thick. So I'm gonna put like three tablespoons I'm using a double box of this of the uh, stock and then some garlic I think I'm gonna use two tablespoons like that okay spices let's throw a bay leaf in I happen to have these on hand let's put two of these things in last time I made this I used that and that's good 
little bit of time. I didn't use this last time. Something new that I saw in the recipe. I'm gonna put a little bit of time, not too much because it can overpower it, but it'll just give another layer of flavor. The main thing about this is that because there's no oils and starches and things like that, you wanna just make sure you season things nicely. And then basil, I love basil. I'm gonna have plenty of basil, but I don't wanna over basil it either because I wanna taste everything else. Little bit of kick, little bit of red hot pepper flakes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of salt, not a lot. I'm bloated enough, as I always tell you guys. And plenty of pepper, fresh ground pepper. Like that. I think I've got everything. Oh, let me grab a spoon. Let me see here. Just do this real quick. Okay, and I'm just gonna stir all of these ingredients up. Can you get a close up on this by any chance? See how pretty this is? Look how beautiful, vegetables and stock and tomatoes. I love to make this recipe, not only is it easy, oh my goodness, I'm splashing myself. Not only is it easy and healthy, but it's just very pretty to look at. So I'm gonna stir this thoroughly so everything's combined. And intermittently I'm gonna come back and stir it as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put my lid on. There we go. Okay, it's gonna be in the crock pot four to six hours. I'm gonna check in a little while and show you guys and um, just let this go and get some cleaning done. I can hear my laundry room going. Just get some things done on this cold, snowy day. So hope you guys are doing great on plan and I'll check back with you in just a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. The soup's been cooking for a few hours now on low. I just wanted to show you a close up of how nice it looks. I'm gonna let it go for another hour or so, but I wanna close out this video and get this up to you guys in case any of you are kind of home, looking at home, just kind of watching TV, looking for something to watch or feel like making some soup today. So just wanted to show you this, zero points on green, blue, and purple. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I've had a few subscribers over the past week. Welcome if you're new, if you're one of my oldies, welcome back. And you guys have a great week. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. I do cooking videos, weekly weigh-ins, that type of thing. So you guys have a great week and hope you guys make this soup. You'll really enjoy it. It's super yummy. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.